Hello everyone, welcome to Data Engineering Studies. In this Azure Use Cases playlist, we are going to see an interesting use case. The use case is copy a file from on-prem to Azure Blob Storage using Azure Data Factory Pipeline. We are going to see the step-by-step -step implementation. Before we get into the details, let's see what is an on-prem system. An on-prem can be a virtual network or your local computer. The objective is to load this file to the cloud. In our case, we are loading this file to Azure Blob Storage. The first step is to download self-hosted integration runtime in your on-prem system. In order to establish connection between on-prem system to Azure, we need to install self-hosted integration runtime in our on-prem system. This is a downloadable software which you can download and get it installed in your on-prem system. As a first step, we can search for self-hosted integration runtime that will take you to this Microsoft page and we can get it installed. Let me click download and select the latest version of self-hosted integration runtime and click download. I have downloaded the self-hosted integration runtime. Now let me follow along the steps and get it installed. My self-hosted integration runtime software is installed. It is asking for authentication key which we will be giving in the next step. The next step is to create self-hosted integration runtime in Azure. Here is my Azure Data Factory homepage. Let me go to Managed. Under the Integration Runtime, we have Auto-Resolved Integration Runtime which is up and running. This Integration Runtime is of Azure Type. Azure Type Integration Runtime can be used for transferring the files within Azure. Self-hosted integration runtime will be used to transfer the file from on-prem to Azure. Let's create a self-hosted integration runtime. For that, I'll click New. Here, I will select Azure Self-Hosted and click Continue. I'll select Self-Hosted and click Continue again. Here, I have to provide the name for self-hosted integration runtime. Let me name it as SHIR and click create. My self-hosted integration runtime is created. Here we can see key to register integration runtime. We have to copy this key and we have to paste this key in the self-hosted integration runtime software that we installed in the on-prem system. Let's do that. Let me click Windows and select the integration runtime software that we installed. Now we have to paste the authentication key to establish the connection. Let me click register and click finish. The connection is established. Now we will select Launch Configuration Manager. Now we see that the connection is established with the on-prem system. Let me click Close and close the self-hosted integration runtime setup. Here we see that the self-hosted integration runtime is up and running in Azure. The next step is to create linked service for the source file system. I am using a virtual machine for my Windows operating system. My source files are in this location. My objective is to move the names.csv file into the Azure storage account. In order to do that, I have to create a linked service in Azure to reference this location in on-prem. Let me do that. Let me close this. I'll go to linked service and create a new linked service. Here I will be selecting file system 
and click continue. I'll specify the linked service name ls on prem here we have to specify the self-hosted integration runtime that we created in the previous step let me select the self-hosted integration runtime and in the host we have to specify the on-prem file location let me copy the file location and paste it here in the username we have to specify the windows username and the windows password let me click create my linked service to the on-prem file location is successfully created the next step is to create data set for the source linked service we are creating the data set to reference to the specific file in on-prem now let's create the new data set let me go to author and select data set and create a new data set our data store is file system and click continue we are going to copy names.csv file so I'm going to select delimited text here I'll be specifying the data set name ds on prem and select the linked service that we created in the previous step linked service in the file path we have to specify the file name let me select the file name we are going to copy names.csv file and click ok We have created the data set. Now let's click OK. The data set is successfully created. Now let's publish to make sure all the changes are saved. Publish. We have successfully published. The next step is to create linked service for the target storage account container in Azure. In our use case, we are going to copy the names.csp file from on-prem to Azure. In order to do that, let me go to Azure homepage. Here is my Azure homepage. Let me go to the storage account. Open the container. I have a container called target. Inside this, I am going to copy the names.csv file which is currently in on-prem. As a next step, I am going to create linked service for this target container. Let me go to Azure Data Factory and inside linked service, I am going to create a new linked service. My data store is Azure Blob Storage. Let me select that and click continue. I am going to name my linked service as LS Azure. LS Azure. The integration runtime as auto resolved integration runtime because my storage account is within Azure. Let me select my subscription and select my storage account name. and test my connection my connection is successful let me create the linked service my linked service is successfully created the next step is to create data set for the target linked service in order to create the data set let me click author icon and create a new data set the data store is Azure blob storage let me select Azure blob storage and click continue I'm going to copy names.csv file so 
I'm going to select CSV and click continue. I'm going to name my data set as DS Azure. Here I'll be selecting the linked service that we created in the previous step. I'll be selecting the file path. Here we have to select the target container and click OK. Next we have to name the target file. I'm going to name my file as target file.csv. I don't have to import the schema. Let me click OK. My data set is created. Let me publish all the changes and click publish. All the changes are published. And the last step is the creation of pipeline. Let's create the pipeline in the author tab. New pipeline. I'm going to name my pipeline as on-prem load. Let me import the copy activity. In the source setting, I'll be selecting the source data set, which is DES on-prem. And in the sync setting, I'll be selecting the target data set, DES Azure. My pipeline is successfully created. Let me validate. The pipeline is validated successfully. Now, let me run the pipeline by clicking the debug button. The pipeline is running. Now, let me go to the target container. The file is successfully copied from on-prem. Let me go to the file and select edit. The data is also copied. I hope you like this use case and I am sure that you learned something new today. If you do like this video, please consider to subscribe and I will see you in yet another interesting use case. Thank you.